Composing sound to picture used to be something which was very difficult technically to achieve. Back in the days of tape, you used to have to have basically lots of real instruments and you used to have to synchronise lots of external hardware together to create something the likes of which you would see on TV or at the movies. Modern DAWs like Cubase allow us far more flexibility and actually it's something that's open to almost anyone with a copy of the software and a bit of musical talent. Cubase has a video playback engine that's based on QuickTime, which means it can play back various different types of movie format. Even if the movies that you have aren't in the correct format, it's possible to convert them to a format which Cubase can play back. Modern computers are good enough to handle video playback and music composition at the same time, so even a decent mid-range computer will be able to handle video playback and composition. Obviously, as is often the case, the better your computer, the easier your ride will be. You'll also want some decent instruments and loops to compose with, and of course you can record your own sounds, you can record your own guitars or drums or whatever you want. Basically think of composing to picture in Cubase just like making any kind of music, except that instead of composing just on the screen, you're composing along to a video. Your aims will vary depending on what you're working with, of course. In many cases, The aim of music is to underscore the action, so what you're composing needs to fit with the picture, but it also needs to create atmospheres, it needs to heighten tension, it needs to suggest emotions, but without necessarily overpowering what's on the screen. The best film music and TV music is often subtle, or at least it shouldn't be foremost in the viewer's mind when they're watching a piece of video or a film that someone has written a big piece of music over the top of it. It's a real art form, composing something that works exactly with the picture, and of course that's something that takes time and practice to get right. On a technical level, composing music to picture in Cubase isn't as difficult as you might think. The actual technical side of it really just involves loading video, and then loading instruments and creating audio tracks and creating music that fits with the mood of what you're doing. What I'm going to show you is how to go about getting started, how to import video, how to do very basic video editing in Cubase just to put a rough edit together, and then how to load up instruments to create different moods, how to quantize stuff, time stretch it, and some slightly more advanced stuff like how to use tempo tracks to change the tempo of a project in the middle of a project or even in the middle of a piece of uh, music, in the middle of a, a musical figure. What you'll see is that it's actually quite simple and it can be very rewarding because actually composing to picture can be a lot more liberating than composing using a blank slate when you're writing music, everything is on you. It's like you have to create the mood, you have to create everything. Whereas when you're working to picture, what you can find is that the picture is evocative. So it gives you much more of an idea of what direction to go in when you see it. And it's usually quite obvious whether something is working or not. If you were composing a piece of music and then sending it to someone to overlay onto a video, it might not work. But if you can actually watch the video as you're composing and tailor your composition to that video, it's much easier, it's far easier to create something that works properly and that will be useful for the end product. So let's dive in and look at how composing to picture in Cubase works.